Hey, what's up guys? Mashin here, come back with my favorite type of video. This is my favorite to record. We're talking everything Paris. First up, we're going to be talking about the viewer pass. Now, obviously the viewer pass has already started. We're going to be talking about it from an investment point of view. Now, if you look in the past, some viewer passes have actually done quite decent, but the truth is it's a very volatile area and that's because it really depends on how many people invest into it. We've got a little bit of an interesting state here because this is the last CSGO major and we'll talk a little bit more after a quick word from today's sponsor. Are you looking to grab some of those great great looking CS2 skins, but don't want to spend a ton of money on Steam tax selling off your current ones? Well, you don't have to with today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a trading website that's currently offering you $5 free if you use code Master Shiny or an additional 35% bonus on new deposits with the code Master Shiny. All you have to do is pick out the skins you no longer want, pick out the skins you do want, and send that trade. And if you don't have any skins, don't worry. They're giving away hundreds of dollars worth of skins all the time. Now, I mentioned it's an interesting state. That's because this is the last CSGO major. This therefore could have some value to someone in the future. In my opinion, I think there's definitely better options when it comes to ROI. If we want to look at the past, like the Antwerp pass with tokens, which is done better than just the regular pass, had a lower ROI than Antwerp up until obviously when we saw the Paris stickers released. So it's definitely something that is a little bit more volatile than I would personally go into. But at this time, there is some potential for profit, but like I said, not my area. After that, we've got souvenir tokens and souvenir packages in general. Now this area is one that I would not suggest using your souvenir tokens just yet. That's because if we want to look at the past major in Rio, we saw Dust 2 removed immediately afterwards that the major had finished, and we're not finished with the major yet, and therefore I wouldn't suggest using up your tokens because you don't know what's going to be the most optimal place to use them. If we want to look back, Dust 2 packages are obviously very expensive, and the truth is that's because obviously you can't get Dust 2 packages anymore. There's a chance this could happen again with the Paris major, but we're not going to know until the Paris major is fully finished and that's still weeks away so at this point using your Paris tokens is not going to make any sense at least in my opinion. And to go along with that you can also purchase these tokens for $3 a piece. I think everyone knows that at this point. The truth is it's not going to do you any benefit to purchase them today but you can go ahead and do it if you really want. There's not going to be a sale on souvenir tokens. They're always going to be $3 so the date you purchase it is not too important but like I mentioned I would just wait until afterwards. You're going to have more than enough time to make all of your investing decisions once the sale comes out and once we see where everything is really sitting at on the market. After that we've got sticker capsules. Now I'm going to preface this by saying sticker capsules are not what you're going to be looking at to invest if you wanted to invest today just because there is going to be most likely a sale on these items. Just want to get that out of the way. But these sticker capsules look extremely good and that's extremely concerning for a couple different reasons. I'm not going to go too deep into Stockholm and Antwerp. You can see it in my past video but the truth is this sets up a very dangerous precedent because why would someone buy these stickers now if that's going to be the continual cycle we see in the future? We're going to see the same borderless stickers over and over and over again. With that being said, there's definitely going to be a lot of investment potential here. I've had so many people come and say they're going to be investing a ton of money into Paris, so the oversaturation of the market for Paris stickers is most likely going to be the biggest concern we have moving forward. We're going to see, obviously, once these start getting listed on the market, and especially once the sale hits, where the true demand for these actually lies. But at this point, I think it's definitely something you should be looking out for, looking at which of the capsules is the best in your opinion. Now, there's some things I like about these capsules. Now we'll talk a little bit more about these once the sale hits, but I usually look for what's going to hold a capsule back the most, and Ents and Greyhound are usually two big teams that do, but Greyhound's got a very nice new logo. Ents is still the same, so that Contenders capsule is looking a little bit interesting to me, but all of them have a really good amount of high-tier teams. You've got Furia, Navi, Fnatic, you've got Pain Gaming, Monty, G2, and then obviously we got the Contenders capsule, which we just mentioned. To go along with that, we've got some of the best-looking autographs I believe we have ever seen. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the glitter autographs. I think they just kind of are a waste at this point. But the hollow autographs look absolutely amazing. The gold ones are eh, but it's really about those hollow autographs. So if we want to compare them to Antwerp, which is really the only other autographs we have at this point, you're not going to have the exact same players lining up, so there is going to be some difference in capsules and all that. But I do still think that the hollows from Paris do look a little bit superior to what we've seen in Antwerp. It's not 100% and it's obviously coming down to personal opinion. As for the autographs, it's going to be interesting to see what price point we see these level out as, as obviously it's quite early into the Paris game here, but I definitely think there is going to be a large sub 
supply of these as well. I mean, it's the last CSGO major, and these autographs look rather impressive. The next thing I want to talk about is something we're going to be asking if it will return, and that's in fact the storage units that we saw in Rio. Brand new thing that we saw with Rio is obviously the release of the storage units, which contained all of the glitter or all of the normal stickers. These were quite expensive, and the truth was they were aimed to capitalize off of a market which potentially gambling was not allowed, looking at some of those EU countries. In my opinion, I think it's quite likely we do end up seeing these return just because it's a very simple copy and paste formula. Valve obviously made money off of these because they did have an exterior look to them, and now that people know that they have an exterior look to them that is going to stay consistent, it brings in an even new market for people that are trying to potentially get a little bit of a skin on their storage unit. It's something that's quite minuscule, but for some people that's worth potentially $60 or potentially $15, depending on which one they want. After that, if you are interested in my personal pickums, you can go ahead and find it on the second channel where I'm going to be uploading that from now on. But then we get to talk about what is going to be most important for probably everyone, and that's when are we going to see this major sale. Now, the major sale is something we're almost guaranteed to see. I can't say guaranteed, but we've seen it with 100% of past majors, but basically we're quite likely to see it a couple weeks after tournament play ends. This is due to a lot of different variables, the first of which is going to be that we obviously have the Champions Capsule. If you're not familiar, Champions Capsule is the autograph of people who won the major. It's not too many, it's just the five players, but this is important because Valve wants to capitalize off of this capsule. They want to have some people at least buy this for full price before it goes on discount. Therefore, they don't want to just immediately put the discount out just a couple days after they put up the Champions Capsule. Now, if you're wondering when that might specifically be, looking for an exact date, we're going to see the Champions stage end on the 21st. We'll probably see the Champions capsule implemented in the week afterwards. It's not always right when the actual major event ends, but it is possible. And then we're probably going to see maybe mid-June that we would start to see a sale for all of these items. Remember, Valve does have some things that are going to kind of complicate this, first of which is going to be the CS2 release, which they said during the summer, which is why this sale, even though it's supposed to be very long, could be a little bit questionable. You're obviously going to receive an update from Valve because Valve is very money motivated. They've done it with the past majors, so you're going to know before the items are actually removed, but that does complicate things a little bit because we don't know if they're going to be working on a perfect schedule like they have in the past. And to go along with that, if you're looking to make some profit, I can almost guarantee you when the sale drops, if you immediately start opening up capsules, you're going to be in a very prime position to make money. It's going to be very dependent on the sticker prices we see, but judging by the fact that these are quite desirable, there's probably going to be a decent amount of buy orders that you can cash in on and start immediately opening up capsules as soon as that major sale hits. It's something that happens every time, but it's not for everyone. You have to immediately be there when the sale actually drops and immediately start opening up capsules and get obviously a little bit lucky with it. With all that being said, what specifically should you be focusing in on right now? Well, right now I would just say try and accumulate some funds so when that sale hits, you can potentially look into what investments you want to pick out. Invest today is going to do you no good, but looking out for the future is going to mean everything. That's all I got. One thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.